This is Matrix Lord 212, and I'm reviewing Powers of X number four. So we see a secret deal between Xavier uh, Magneto and Mr. Sinister uh, that Professor X wants to help Mr. Sinister make clones or have the human DNA, but forget why he's doing it. So I'm guessing that this is what's happening. Professor X has Mr. Sinister constantly cloning, I guess, all the X-Men them going on missions, them dying, but the real X-Men don't die. I'm guessing this. I'm not sure. And then we see in the far future, well, before we get to the far future, we have Professor X go to Corolla and having Douglas, the guy that translates stuff, his mutant power, try to learn how to communicate with the Corowan island and the plants and stuff. And he's going to stay there for a year. And then we see the far future where humanity or mutants or whatever are going to join with the Flanix. But it seems that there was a plan in place for for them to join with copies and not the real thing. So I'm guessing that that's connected to Professor X and Mr. Sinister's deal that Mr. Sinister can't remember. Uh, it's a mouthful. It's a lot. It was it was an okay issue, but overall, this whole big thing I'm not happy with. Um, I could do without it, and I'm probably not going to collect the X Men after this. Unless something changes. Alright guys, take care. Bye for now.